Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. Today I'm going to be doing week 10, the final week of my grocery challenge. So for the past 10 weeks I have been going to all the major supermarkets here in Ireland and I've been shopping at them, kind of like gathering some information about what it's like to shop there, is there good value, is the quality of the food good, that sort of stuff. Um, so I will be sharing with you my findings next week um, and then I will also be sharing where I'm actually going to be shopping from now on. So why this started was I used to shop in Dunn stores constantly for months and months and months and then I decided, you know, maybe there is better value and better quality out there. Um, because Dunn's does be quite expensive because there's a lot of branded items there. Um, so um, I just undertook this challenge and it's been really, really interesting. But if I'm being honest, I'm kind of happy that it's over because I just want to shop in one place now and get to know the products that I'm going to buy um, and that sort of stuff. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you this Dunn Stores haul today. So the first things out, we'll go through the bread. So I picked up this bread. Um, again, it was the cheapest of the soda breads that I could find today. We're gonna be doing burgers during the week. So I picked up some burger buns. Also a sliced pan, the Brennan loaf. And for Robert's, I have these tortilla wraps. He uses these for his lunches. Here then we have some American style frying chips. So these are fries. Also a tree pack of mixed peppers. So it is the red, yellow and green peppers. Here we have a pack of fresh celery. We have a pineapple. We have some seasonal um, vegetables. These are actually serenade chilies. There's three of them in there. Some pears. Some bananas, just three bananas. And then the Keeling strawberry, so two packs of the Keeling strawberries. So I got some mozzarella cheese because we're going to be doing pizzas. Some lean minced beef. Some hand-tied pork sausages, so this is part of the tree for 10 euro. Also a part of that is this two pack of chicken Kievs. So there is four um, Kievs in total. And then also we have this, which is the two chicken bones on the breast, chicken breasts on the bones. So the three of those items were part of the three for 10 euro deal. I got a small whole chicken. I got a litre of whole milk and then three of the litres of goat's milk. Robert wanted this, he wanted a taco kit so I got them the sweet paprika and garlic one. So it comes with the seasoning mix, 10 of the taco and um, corn shells and then one salsa. I picked up um, some beef oxo cubes, so stock cubes. A 24 pack of Coke Zero. So that's the 330 milliliter cans. Stunned um, Jaffa cakes. These are like little biscuits. You can read it there. Um, for the pizza, some mild chorizo. This, 
the Irish Mature Red Cheddar Cheese. So this is the Dunn's branded one. We got this last week. It actually tasted perfectly fine. And Ava ate it. Um, so it was a win for us. So I picked it up again this week. For Ava, some goat's yogurts. There is two strawberry and two vanilla. Or they're a mixture of both, maybe. Um, then I have two packets of the crumbed ham. Then here I have a pack of chocolate chip cookies. 75 meters of the Dunn's cling film. A four pack of boost bars. Um, six large free range eggs. So I got a question during the week about do I buy laundry detergent, cleaning products and stuff as part of my grocery budget and the answer is yes I do. I have a lot of cleaning products so I really ever need to buy them but what I did need because I had just run out of um, the current one I'm using was laundry detergent so washing powder. So there was a deal on and done today where um, you could buy three things for 30 euros so i decided just to kind of splurge because it was my last week and um i got some toilet paper and then also some laundry detergent so i'm going to share that with you now so this is a 32 pack of toilet roll so this is the brand i use but i just kind of get their bog standard one um, and it actually works out the 32 pack for 10 euros um, because each of the things I'm going to show you now is going to be 10 euros in the deal um, It actually worked out as the exact same price as buying the nine pack um, That I usually buy of this Nikki toilet paper brand, but this is the premium one True ply we won't know what's what's hit our bottoms and then for the laundry detergent You can see here. I bought fairy non bio pods with Ava's eczema, it is really, really, really important that I use non-bio um, laundry detergent and no fabric softener because it just irritates her when I do. Um, so I was been using um, the Fairy powder. I bought a powder that was on sale um, and then I just saw these today. So I bought two packs of these pods. So you can see there's 55 pods in each um of these so in total i have 110 and it works out at about 18 cent per pod so 18 cent a wash i don't think is too bad um and i'm happy with these fairy non-bio is the one i really really like to use for ava um so yeah this is for sensitive skin and she definitely has that with her, her eczema. So um, both of these. So the three of these was the three for 30 euro thing. And in total, I think it was a saving of eight euro um, if I was to buy these without that deal. So that's not so bad. Like eight euro of a savings is pretty good. Um, and I, I definitely needed that. I'm down to my last scrapings of the fairy powder that I have. So that is everything and the total came to 107 euros um, in total is what it came to. I had my 10 euro off voucher so that is one of these. If you spend 50 euro you get 10 euro off so I only had one of those and I also had a 5 euro value club voucher. So every time you give your value club card um, it racks up the points and then um, I think it's four times a year they send you vouchers. So I had 15 euro off meaning I paid 92 euros today. So if you consider that um, 30 euro of that was items that I wouldn't have normally purchased on a normal week, it would have been 62 euros, which I think is pretty okay for the for the items I had here. So um, I went today, it is Friday today, and I went at um, quarter past 10 in the morning, and um, it was, why am I blurry, hold on. Here we go. Um, so I went at quarter past 10 in the morning and it was packed in there. And then by the time I got to the checkouts, there was just really long queues everywhere. Um, so I did have to queue for a while. 
um, and the lady that I got was kind of slow but um, yeah that is what it is I can't really do anything about that I keep moving because I'm trying to get the glare off my um, glasses here so that is it guys I will be back next week let me know in the comments do you want me just to kind of run through my findings so go through each individual shop of the five that I've done and um, I kind of give the pros and cons how much things cost um, and then at the end kind of say this is what I'm going to be doing for my weekly shopping from now on and um, let me know how you would like the format for next week's video um, and then whether or not you want me to continue with weekly grocery hauls and um, I will be changing up the products that I buy because I've just tried to keep it the same to get some consistency and so I can kind of make comparisons throughout the weeks um on prices and quality and all that sort of stuff um so i will be kind of changing things doing more um dishes than i have been doing because we've been eating pretty much the same for the last 10 weeks so you know um so yeah let me know if you still want me to continue the sunday grocery hauls for you um I think I might change the format just slightly um, in that I'm going to share with you everything I buy throughout the week including my grocery haul because I do have to pick up stuff throughout the week um, essential stuff and then sometimes I just pick up non-essential stuff that I see there and like impulse buy and um, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing after next week but let me know if that is something you are interested in so thank you so much for watching if you love this please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new here i try to put out videos two to three times per week it just depends um and that's it guys i'll talk to you next time bye